Ethical Views on Euthanasia and Physician-Assisted Suicide The definition of euthanasia is directly or indirectly bringing about the death of another person for their own sake. The definition of physician-assisted suicide is the killing of a person by that person's own hand with the help of a physician. The different types of euthanasia, there are five types. The first one is voluntary euthanasia which is the type of euthanasia that is performed on a person with their permission. Uh, The second type is non-voluntary euthanasia, which is the type of euthanasia that is performed on a person who is not competent to make a decision and has not left any instructions for their end-of-life preferences. The third type is involuntary euthanasia, which is the type of euthanasia that is performed on a person against their will. The fourth type is active euthanasia, which is the type of euthanasia that is caused by taking a direct action to cause someone's death. The fifth type is passive euthanasia, which is the type of euthanasia that is caused by withholding the measures that could sustain or continue life. Why euthanasia euthanasia and physician-assisted suicide is unethical. The first reason is that euthanasia is the moral equivalent to murder. Evidence for this is involuntary euthanasia, non-voluntary euthanasia, and passive non-voluntary euthanasia. Because in each of these cases, the recipient is not aware of the euthanization and does not have a say. Though these are technically not killing them, but rather letting them die, there is not a difference between murdering someone and letting them die. The second reason is it is illegal in most places. Physician-assisted suicide is legal in nine American states and the District of Columbia. The states include Washington, Oregon, Montana, California, Colorado, Maine, Vermont, New Jersey, and Hawaii. What this entails is that by performing euthanasia in any of the other states, it is illegal and breaking the law is unethical. Which moral theory view it as unethical? Um, The different moral theories that view it as unethical is the natural law theorist, rule utilitarianism, and Kantians. Natural law theory? A natural law that euthanasia and physician-assisted suicide goes against is the moral duty to preserve life. By killing patients, the doctors and physicians are no longer preserving life, but rather neglecting life. Therefore, according to natural law theories, duty to preserve life, euthanasia is unethical. The rule utilitarianism views, um, when considering whether euthanasia is ethical or not, a good moral theory to consider is rule utilitarianism. Rule utilitarianism would see that euthanasia is providing more harm than good. They also think that the legalization of physician-assisted suicide and euthanasia would lead to abuse of power, which would then lead to people being killed that would not even be on the physician's radar. The Kantian views, the best moral theory to look at when considering the ethical impact of euthanasia and physician-assisted suicide is Immanuel Kant's theory. Kantian would view euthanasia as treating people as though they are disposable as opposed to being human beings. Kant also viewed suicide as never permissible due to the fact that it takes away a person's right to personhood. This also discusses the autonomy principle. The autonomy principle is the ability one has to make an uninfluenced decision. However, if a person is in pain, they will not be able to make rational decisions, and yet euthanasia is allowing them to decide whether they want to end their lives or not. Um, The case of Terry Schiavo. Terry Schiavo was a 41-year-old woman who had been put into a vegetative state which is a coma that lacks both awareness and wakefulness due to a cardiac arrest. She had been put through experimental therapies for three years before her husband decided it was time to pull the plug. He had remembered her telling him that she did not want to be living off of a machine. Her parents, however, did not like the husband's decision and wanted to give her more time in order to try to give her another chance. The husband's decision was unethical because it robbed Terry of her personhood which goes against the ethical views associated with Immanuel Kant. Um, Some counter-arguments that people could make for the ethicality of euthanasia and physician-assisted suicide is one, that some patients may benefit from death. The person administering the euthanization does not know the benefits of death and cannot know if it is truly beneficial at all. It would stop the patient's pain. Doctors and physicians' jobs 
are to preserve life and work as much as they can to keep their patients alive and taken care of in their last days, not to decide when their last days will be. It can be morally permissible in some cases. It is never morally permissible to intentionally seize a life. By killing someone, it is as if one is viewing them as something that can be disposed, which is looked down upon according to Kant's theory. These are my resources.